Today, we're unboxing the Toyotaro edition of UI Goku, as well as comparing him to the standard UI Goku. And as a bonus, we also have Earth's foremost fighter, Yamcha, here that we're gonna be unboxing. So, let's dive in. First up, this is such a sick drop for them to do. Look at this. We have, you, so you get the Figupedia, which they've done some things if you go to like their live events or in-person stuff, they have something, but this is really, really cool. And this might be the best packaging for one of these figures I have personally ever seen. I, I like absolutely beautiful packaging, almost hurts to open it. So I would ask that you like the video and subscribe to this channel because we are back on the figure. So if you want more of this figure content, sub, it helps. Oh, that's a, that's a thick boy. Okay, look at that. Hang on, I don't wanna, there we go. Oh, is it actually in, oh my gosh, it's actually wrapped up. Okay, we'll get to this in just a second. I do wanna go ahead and pull the figure out and see what all he's coming with here. So let's set that off to the side. Let's go ahead, let's get this guy out. Oh! Oh! I didn't realize. What? Wow, okay, that's, hey, let's just, look. I was unaware that he was coming in his own actual figure arts box with in the normal. Okay, wow, I am very impressed. Okay, that's really, really, really cool. So a box within a box. So here's the back of that, the front, which they actually did go. So we're getting actual Toyotaro art over here, but then actual just figure art for this one. There's the back of that, side, side. Wow. I. I don't know, I, I, again, I've not watched anyone else unbox one of these, so I was just unaware. And uh, I hadn't really looked into this one too much just to not be spoiled because it just is such a special figure. So, okay, let's, well, do we actually wanna, we wanna check out, I'm not gonna sit here and like read the Figupedia to you by any means, but let's just like see what this looks like. I assume it's gonna look similar to how some of their, you know, again, when you go to conventions and you get it and it just kinda like shows you everything, I mean, that's, exactly what this is, but I do wonder just how in depth it'll go. Oh, I really want it to say release dates, because as someone who's been collecting these since 2013, I think I was like a year late. I think, no, it started in 2011. I do think I started in 2013 though. It's either late 2012 or, or very, very early 2013. All right, let's take a look, dude. Also, had a lot of feedback from you guys. I do listen to you guys here on these videos. People ask for the top down, I didn't necessarily want to do the top down because I was trying to keep these as simple as possible, but a lot asked for it. And so I want to bring quality as much as possible to, oh, that's really cool, to these videos. And so that's what we're doing. So I hope you guys can appreciate it. Wow, a 15 year history of SNH figure arts. Okay, so it does have release dates, release date June, 2020. I guess it's, is it going to go technically, not in order of release, but in order from like actual uh, Dragon Ball, which is really cool. Ah, oh, dude, it smells incredible. It's got like that, that new, new, new smell. It even has the original, ah, oh, dude. And then also the SNH Figuart, SNH Figuarts, the SCCC version of Vegeta Grade 8. Here's the newer model. Wow, 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 wow. Fierce battles on planet Namek. You also have Nappa. This is really, really cool. Oh, 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 because movies. Movies is gonna have its own section, the movies. That's really cool that movies has its own section. When did Broly come out? Broly is one of my absolute favorite figures, like, ever. November 2014. And then he had his premium color edition from SCCC 2016. And then this is when they started doing event exclusives. I think, was this the first year for event exclusives? But anyways, San Diego, 2018, man. And then how does it, what's like the wrap up here? Oh, list of products in order of release date. That's actually pretty cool. I've always loved this Sun Goku clone. Wait, so what do they call this? The games. Oh, okay. All right, enough of that. This is really cool. I feel like, wait, what does the front look like without the cover? Ooh, that's sick. That is sick, hang on. Oh, that's really cool. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so impressed. I'm. 
Uh, sometimes it's the little things in life, man. Sometimes it's the, it's, you know what? Sometimes it just be the little things in life. Okay, actually really quick before we do that, let's just take a look at this guy. And I won't, well, I'm gonna unbox him, but we're gonna go straight into Goku here. I do want to see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get to him in a second. We won't spend too much time on him, but I did want to have him in the video. So here is the original. Let's see, which side do I wanna, We'll do this side. I don't know, which side do you guys usually do? The side with the plastic or side without the plastic? I'm trying to think of which one I usually do. Okay, yeah, we got the instructions over here, some of the instructions. So that's the side. Oh man, oh man, oh man. So let's see, what are some of the poses they, they have here? So we've got Doom Kamameha, of course, just stand up. The true, like, ooh, yeah, the flowy hair when he's like moving forward. Okay. He also has the like breathing in sort of face as well. Okay, let's pull him out here. Oh man. I am a, I should have, I should have grabbed the, um, I should have grabbed the actual different faces for my UI, but I had this UI out because I used to have him in one of my PCs did like a UI sort of themed like computer, not too heavy, but like enough to really feel like a UI sort of like themed PC. And I'm not sure where his box is. I know it's somewhere in my, in my massive pile, but I just had him readily available. So I grabbed him, bring him in here. But, ooh, 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 this looks, wow. Yeah, the, the hair sculpt is so cool. <laughs> Like the hair sculpt is so freaking cool. Let's let's see here. Let's let's go ahead and put the other one on. I gotta I gotta see the more fancy kind of like swooshy hair here. Ooh, okay, yeah, that is. Uh, I I am a fan. I am very much so a fan of that. That is really. Let's get close ups here on this on this camera. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, he, they both look good, don't get me wrong. I've always liked the, the UI sort of like sculpt, but um, I, can't, I can't hold you guys. I, I do like this new one a lot. <laughs> I do like the new one a lot. I would not be surprised if there are a lot of collectors, especially if you didn't pick up a second one and you don't want to spend, I haven't looked to see what he is on second hand right now, but I would imagine there's a lot of people that will probably just keep him in the box because that is a beautiful box and just such a cool thing to just kind of have to properly display. All right, so let's look at the different faces here. So we've got eyes closed, a little bit angry. Ooh, I like that face. I like that face. Hang on, so, and then of course the one that comes standard on the, on the actual heads themselves here. So just kind of like you're standing there and then you're like rushing in sort of face. Let's see, how does changing? Oh, okay, okay. It wouldn't really, he wouldn't, it wouldn't make too much sense probably to have this with really any of the other faces, like since it is such like an in motion sort of like hair, I don't really know why you would change it to one of the, the others. Like imagine putting the um, eyes closed face on this Goku uh, with like the motion hair, that'd be kind of funny actually. Anyway, let's do joints. Are they the exact same? Do they not update anything? I don't think they really updated I mean, some of you guys that are like deeper, deeper, I mean, I'm pretty deep in the, the figure arts community. I'm not like so deep though that I can tell you if these are updated or different joints. They look the exact same. I mean, it does look like the very same mold. So I can't imagine these are like updated in any way at all. But you guys can let me know. Let's take a look at Yamcha just like super fast here. Man, oh man, I missed out on Jero. I'm gonna have to pick up Jero secondhand, which I'm like super upset about because he literally has like Jero pieces here to make it look like his hand went goes through him, which is just so freaking cool. Oh snap, that was like a massive piece that like comes off. Yeah, dude, I wish I had Jero so bad. That is so sick. That's one of the coolest things they have ever, ever done with a figure. That is just so cool. Um, so yeah, you've got like shocked, standard and then sort of like you know powering up slash yelling kind of thing three different hands there but man that is just that's how he's going to be posed when i get a Jero in 
this is how it would be posed. There you go, that's UI Goku. You can click on another one right here in case you missed this. Comparing these two, which one do you like more? You like the Toy Tara edition? They look goofy right now because I didn't fix their poses, but Toy Tara or anime? And of course, click right here and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!